Alrighty then, good afternoon there everyone, Silver Dragon here, gonna be doing my weekly Masterwork Dwarf Fortress Let's Play. Now, it looks like there are a few people that did want to get dwarfed, and then we're gonna see if we can get some stuff done here in a quick hour. So let me just load this sucker up here quickly, connect to Dwarf Fortress, read the dwarves. Kanok wants to be dwarfed as the uh, farmer slash brewer, so let's see if I have any of those available right now. I only have the one brewer at the moment. And he is currently named. So that one is currently taken. Uh, what do I have for farmers, though? He's actually not farming right now either, probably because he doesn't have anything to do for a couple months. This one is a farmer, however, they are not a brewer, so I'll wait until I see if I can find a better one for you. Someone that actually has some decent skills. And I'll give you that guy. Alright, let's see. Dom dot Zan will make you invincible. Apparently I might have actually mislabeled that. No, I got Dom.com. I, I don't know. Yeah, I got that actually correct. I don't know what's with that, but anyway. Uh, Couch Potato Wizard wants to be dwarfed a fighter. Preferably uh, a biter. Or one that has a tendency to bite his foes. Rename him Rancid Saliva. I doubt I have anyone in my military that has any biting skill. Unfortunately, I'd have to be lucky in order to get someone that actually has biting skill. And then I'd have to have them train as such. It's not something that's easily trainable, unfortunately. Uh, what do I actually have in my military right now? Do I have anyone? Yeah, I have one person. Zytac has been tossed in the military. So I'll see if I can find you at the very least a good military dwarf to give you for that. I don't know if I'll be able to find you an actual, uh, an actual biter or not, but I'll see what I can do. Uh, the final gentleman had suggested that I do uh, four half an hour videos uh, a week instead of just uh, two hour longs, and that's interesting in a, in a sense as well. However, I would with Dwarf Fortress is the kind of game you can spend just hours and hours and hours playing, and I doubt I could accomplish much of interest in a half an hour video, which is why I try and restrict mine to about roughly an hour, give or take. So I might just start up to uh, two hour long videos a week rather than just the one hour long one. I'll have to see about when I actually am going to do that. I did actually skip the Orc Fortress one this week. Uh, unfortunately, I was doing a lot of live streaming and I didn't. Uh, and of course, on top of being sick and all this other crap. So I didn't really get, have time and such to do it this week. So I'll see if I can get that uploaded again. Although it's, the current fortress is a little terrible in that sense. Just a lot of Orcs puking all over themselves. So... I think I will do the regular Orc Fortress on uh, hmm, on Wednesday, as it were, and then I might do another episode of this on Thursday. I'm gonna give us three days. I would like to. I'd like to have it Wednesday. I'd like to. I might. I might do both on Wednesday, depending. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But uh, I don't like to stack my videos per day in that sense. But we'll see what happens. Or if you guys so wish, I could just get rid of the Orc Fortress one entirely for now. And uh, just do the um, or just do the dwarf fortress for that. So I'll let uh, I'll let you guys see what you want to see there, in that sense. And let me see here. Need to go job orders menu. Press refuse to make dwarves gather refuse from the outside. Student teacher skills are purely militaristic. Ah yeah. Well, true enough in that sense. I was hoping that they would learn their skills a little bit faster if they actually had that. But that's a damn shame. I figured it would be something along those lines, though, so yeah. And although I could use the clean all command for the uh, for the other orc fortress, would sort of puke it all over the place. Generally, I don't like to use dwarf fortress hack, just because, you know, it's called dwarf fortress hack. And yeah. But yeah, that, that's debatable, to be honest. That's debatable. Alright, so that's pretty much it. All, we pretty much have nothing we can name, unfortunately, because of our uh, lack of migration waves at the moment. So... A couple things that needed to get done. I really needed to get a well made inside of my fortress. I needed to uh, get a hospital, and I needed to complete this outer wall here. So I'm gonna hope I can, I'm gonna see if I can get a lot of those done, as there are two different jobs. So I'll see what I can accomplish here. All right. Mix it out of. Let's see. Make it a schist. We got tons of schist with which to build this. So, we'll see what we can get done with that. Let me shrink this currently. I want to build this wall right here. 
first things first. I'm gonna get the rest of this built. This doesn't have to be huge, to be honest. Well, actually it does have to be a little bit. About yay long right there. Oh, no, I had to use the schist. Oh, we have a tree in our path here, unfortunately. That's going to make things a little more difficult, but that's all right. Um, actually, let me remove this one right here. There we go. All right, I'll remove that bit. Nope, capital C, wall. All right. So we're going to put it like so. So basically what's there is going to be my, there we go. This part is generally going to be closed most of the time. This is going to be leading to the outside and our exterior entrance. Uh, this side is going to be leading into a, uh, let me go like this. trading area all right so this is where my actual trading depot is going to be that way it's separate from my actual fort and I don't have to worry as much about invasions happening and uh, get them basically getting through the traders entrance because I can close it off if I need to there we go all right, now I do need to get all these uh, annoying trees designated to be taken out of here because they are in my way. So let me designate those ones to be taken out. The ones up front here need to be taken away just because we need to make sure there's a good flow of traffic here. I don't necessarily like how these ones are so packed together, so I'll remove a lot of those. Just kind of want to make sure they're able to access this depot. All right. Now, what else do we need to do? I need to go down now. I need to start designating out a uh, place for them to... Oh, wow. Is that, is that all the seeds they've gotten? Shiza. I'm going to have to expand this stockpile here. Damn. Also... Hmm. Debatable. Yeah, that's actually good. That's the perfect spot for it, though. I really want to get a glass floor if I can. Hmm. Oh, well, I'm just going to have to hope I don't get any flying enemies coming in here. Alright. Let me... Let me expand this for one. Alright. And I'll build a corridor. Eh, let's build it right there. That will lead up to another area here. Not going to be too, too big, but it's going to be large enough to put a couple plots in. Alright, let's see here. I usually do now, what's this? Let's see. Yeah, it's six by six, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, so. Oops, I meant to dig there. So that's six by. So it's right here. So unfortunately, even if I wanted to, I could not get two layers here right now with the way it is. Hmm. And I really do want to keep this as compact as possible. Basically, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to be making an above ground farm. Actually, you know, if I go like this, I might be able to do it, but then I'll have to uh, build this corridor elsewhere that leads to the thing. Probably right over here, even. Alright, because i got to build a little bridge in here to seal this area off if I so need to. If any flying enemies come in here. Alright, let's see here. Okay, that's enough room. If I do it one more, I'll even be able to have a gap between things. There we go. Now we'll test this side. Wow, really? Huh. 
Huh. I can get rid of a whole two section here, it seems. Alright. Now what needs to be done after that is... I need to basically channel this entire area. Alright, so that's going to be done. This will allow me to get a above ground type crop because it's a, it has direct access to the sun, to the exterior, and can then be uh, yeah harvested from that. So I'll let them do this. I'll let them do that as one of my projects right now. Then I'll get the hospital and well set up pretty quickly too. Alright. There we go. They're whipping through that like nothing quickly. Pretty much. That's good. A forest imp, drive it away! Oh, where's the fighting happening? Uh, stray war ironclad dog shakes the forest imp brown by the right thigh, tearing apart the right thigh's muscle, bruising the bone, artery has been torn, tendon has been torn. Nice. So there's the forest imp right down there. Currently being torn apart by my war dog. Actually, several of them are being torn apart by a war dog currently. Let's see if they had anything on them. Uh, nope, just a forest imp corpse. They really didn't have much on them. All right, let me get a area set up front here. Pen and pasture. Yeah, the ironclad war dog is set to be there. Good. So he's doing his job. He is warning us of any enemies that are approaching. Let's check and see, verify here that they didn't suspend anything. Looks like they didn't. That's good. Alright, we'll go back uh, down below here and check on the progress. They're digging their way out now. Because they need a way out, otherwise they can't. There we go. He's fleeing now to go get a drink. I think they both are. So they're, honestly, they're going to whip through that in no time. So let me get these. Placed. What? So I did miscalculate that. I knew that seemed weird to me. Alright. Build farm plots. Let's say. Oh no, there we go. No, I just miscalculated my other actual digging there, or my uh, placing of it. So that was correct, it's just that I didn't put it in properly. Okay. Uh, build farm plot. So now we'll be able to get strawberries and other outdoor plants built, which, uh, indoor plants grow at a rate of once, they like, mature uh, once every four months. Uh, outdoor plants, or exterior plants, grow at a rate of every two months. So they're really nice to get, but I usually don't have the time to cover this in like uh, in water and turn it into muddy soil so this is my alternative for that I basically build a uh... there we go let them dig that out I basically have them dig this out like so and build a uh, underground above ground farming area which is quite useful in that regard all right let's have them chop down some trees in this area we really don't want any trees here all right, once they're done that, I'm going to have them start digging the well out. After they finish up that, of course. There we go. He's slowly digging those away. Or, yeah, chopping down the trees, as it were. All right. There's nothing to trade here right now. There we go. No traders requested or needed at the depot. What are we having here right now? Check the items it contains. Basalt, we've got a lot of meat that needs to be moved. A lot of crayfish. We have a lot of we just have a lot of food basically that needs to be moved out of there. Let me check my stockpiles here, see if I've actually designated them properly yet. Oh yeah, wait, did I move my Oh yeah, here it is, here it is. Okay, so I had them I had them staying in the food stockpile area temporarily. I completely forgot about that. Well, I'll have, I'll have this area completely designated as the food stockpile area. Let me disable. Whoops. 
We forbid drinks and seeds to be placed there. And for this one, I only need beer and other alcoholic beverages. So I'll only do half of it for now. I really don't need to do the entire thing at the moment because we're not going to have nearly that much. So let me go food, forbid everything except for drinks. There we go. Perfect. All right, that's set up properly. Now, they have finished that off. Actually, I could have them finish this off completely now at this point. So I'll just have them finish this project here, and then we will move on to the well. Come on, boyos. Let's go. Oh, winter is derived. And yes, it seems that we do have a problem. Just like I'd fear we'd, I fear I had feared we might. The river does partially freeze over in the winter. So that means we're basically going to have to construct a wall completely blocking off the river. Otherwise, they're just going to walk right around us. Now, if the entire river uh, becomes a uh, block of ice, that's going to make things even more difficult. However, the good thing about this is I could also easily construct my my blocker trap basically and they should it should collapse down there and block it if I'm correct in my assumption however I need them to build the other walls first so I'll let them get that done All right, they're almost done that. We're slowly getting this done here. Of course, the issue with this as well is it could cause some partial flooding. I need to raise that way. We'll make it out of... We'll make it out of whatever's interesting. We'll make it out of schist. There we go. So I've already finished constructing one here. So I'll have them make... Oh, I believe it's down this way. What do we even have? I don't even know what we have here for that. Alright, that should be good. Have them finish this off. We're getting pretty close. We're at the halfway point at this point, which is kind of funny. That we're only at the halfway point, but anyway. Um, this is probably all I'll have them do for now, then. I'll have them channel out the rest of this later. At a much later date. Alright, so let's have you... Mine your way into here. I'll have a door right there, so we'll put a... Up down stairway. Whoops. All right, and then upward stairway right here. I'll have them channel it down. Not to go quite that far. So right here. All right, up down stairways. There, upward stairways. <coughs> Excuse me. And this is basically going to be a huge reservoir. So it's going to be about yay big at least. Uh, now the water here is going to be collected from the well, which I'm going to be placing right here. However, I'm also going to be creating a maintenance area that will be able to access it. Probably right here, actually. Alright, so I have to build it up here. Just because I want to be able to uh, 
channel this water elsewhere if I so need it. Whoops, did not mean to do that. Okay, at the end here I'll block it off so there's only one. Alright, so we'll have one channel right here. We'll have a door right here that blocks that. And we'll have one, this will be a, uh, a drain for all the water so that it, uh, that accumulates in this area here. So all the water that accumulates in here once I've shut it off will be pushed into here and then evaporate. That way we can uh, get in here for, to place more if we need to. Actually, let me, because of that, let me actually pull this back even further. Yeah, because that will allow us another two or two or more, yeah. The sun will be good right there. I'm not sure if I'll use that much of it, but that should be good. Alright, this guy is going to be going down to the hospital. Oh, shit, that's not going to be good. This is basically where I intend to put the hospital. I guess I can... Go like this then. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me go like this. Whoops. I did not do that properly. Upward stairway. Alright, that way it can be put right here. Put this hospital in here. And let me see if I build the well in this corner. I can. Alright, so let me extend the size of this thing a bit. There we go. That'll be the well's cistern. Okay, now I can let them get to work on that. Let me check my actual crafting area as well. I'm definitely going to have to expand this here soon. All we really have here is the smelter, which is currently making steel pretty damn quickly. Um, we get all my other stuff down here. Build, workshop, masonry. It's about time we move all this down. Make it out of schist. Alright, I need to build a carpenter's workshop. Out of whatever. Probably schist. As always, I need a Crafts Dwarfs Workshop, which we do possess one, but they're not down here. There we go, make it out of schist. Let me have these removed now. The main issue is that we don't have enough uh, dwarves right now. Assign the table to myself. Assign the chair to myself. Alright. So I'll be still be able to do my job, but I'll be able to uh, get other things done too. I believe that's anthracite, yeah. Now, when it comes to that, I do not mind using it up, using up the anthracite if I so have to. Okay. It's looking good, looking good. They're getting that dug out pretty quickly. So we have our way up from there. Ooh, we even found some jades. Lovely. After that, after they're done this, I'm going to have them completely finish off the rest of the, uh, what's it called? Oh, jeez. There goes my brain. My brain is gone. Masonry workshop. Armor stand, weapon rack, tables, and then going back to tables and thrones. What I really need right now is some floodgates. At least four floodgates. And what I especially need right now is a migration wave, because I'm really, really hurting on the migration wave. Oh, we have two jeweler workshops up here. Don't know why we have two jeweler workshops. I definitely need at least uh, ten more mechanisms. I could use the uh, manager list for that, but meh. I like to just input it myself. But yeah, we are in desperate need of another migration wave right now. 
Struck rock salt. Lovely. Okay, so we're clearing this out here. Struck some rubble, aquamarines. We'll get those dug out before we end up uh, flooding this area. Oh wow, what's that? Is that mithril? That's mithril. Ooh, we found a lot of raw mithril there. Definitely want to get that in mind out, though I hope I don't get a Mithril Elemental RV in major trouble. I really do need to get that steel made ASAP. Actually, what does my military guy use for weapons? He's an axe dwarf. Did I equip him with an axe of some sort? Yeah, he has a steel battle axe. So, worst comes to worst, he should be able to stand toe to toe with it. But, you know, it's, that's something you don't necessarily want to risk. Alright, I'll have them mine that out, move it out. I'll create a dump area for that. Alright, so they're gonna get that stuff. Just hoping and praying we don't get an elemental at this point. I'll eventually just wall this place in. There we go. Alright, we didn't get an elemental. Good. Let's get the aquamarines here mined out. Get this guy right here. <laughs> Excuse me. Get that one down there. Done. Alright, so I'm gonna create some I'm gonna wall these in when I'm done with them. Probably not that back left, like the very bar back left one, just because that doesn't necessarily matter. It's just gonna flood down there anyway. Uh but the rest of it's gonna gotta go. It's gotta go. Alright. So they're back up to the main cistern now. Once they're done that, they'll dig their way up to the surface. And we should be golden. Perfect. Now I just really gotta wait for that migration wave. Okay, now the frozen river looks like it really didn't last that long, so. Hmm. Taken by mood. Oh, he was possessed. RTN was possessed. Wait, who is he? RTN is, I believe he's my metalsmith. Yeah, he is my armorer. The unfortunate part is, because it's a possession, he's not going to gain any skill from it. He's going to make something really cool that's probably going to lead to a lot of dwarves coming to the fortress. But, oh, he's already making it. Nah, that was fast. But he won't gain legendary skill from it, which would have been really nice. That would have been very, very nice. Hopefully he makes a steel breastplate of, of, of epicness or something, or a helmet. Because then I can give that to my main dwarf and he'll be... He'll be so happy and loyal that I could I could slaughter every single one of his children in front of him and he would probably still be like, Hail Fortress! Or something like that, you know. Alright. Cut. Repeat. Repeat. Alright, so I'll have him cut all those gems and I do need to start making crafts here soon. Fishery. Who do I have that's actually my craft store for something I need to find out quickly? Alright, so we're getting a lot of stuff done. Wow, this hour is going by really, really quickly. Labor skill. So this is why I try and contain it to an hour in that sense. Just because it's two, uh, two hours, or not two hours. 30 minutes is way too short. 30 minutes would be up already right now. Alright. So I have two stone crafters right now. Okay, what do I actually have for seeds? Let me check that quickly. There's a lot of things you really have to check and double check and get correct. Uh, let's see here. We have a lot of prickle berries. So I could probably hunt. I could probably do those. Yeah, let me plant some prickle berries here. All right. I don't know why he's not doing that one. Probably because there's not enough time or something. Oh, they already built the bridge there. That's good. They're really efficient at some things. Now this takes them forever to get it done. Did they suspend these for some reason? No, they did not. Ooh, he created a slag left gauntlet. Let's go see it. 
Nice. Let's take a look at this thing quickly. Wait, is its value seriously 10? Wow. This is by far the most worthless artifact I have ever crafted to be have a base value of 10. Dear lord, that is definitely the worst thing I have ever crafted. I would not give that to any of my dwarves. I, I'm just going to store that thing and be like, Dear Lord, nobody ever touch this thing. For it is for it is junk of the highest caliber. Hmm. Alright. They said they uh, struck anthracite. I do see there's some lignite here. Tetrahedrite. They do have some hematite, but I don't see the uh, anthracite. That's all right, though. Still have to channel that down. Where are they digging right now? Oh, they went back to doing this now. So that's where they found the anthracite, right there. I'll have to wall this in properly again, then. Later on. All right. Yeah, I'm in desperate need of a migration wave right now. Okay. Let's see, pig iron, hematite, metalsmith's forge, mason's workshop has been built, craft dwarf has been built, okay, let's get some rock crafts created, as well as some rock pots. Can he make some... No. Alright. That's good enough then for now. We have a lot of armor stands to make, quite a few beds. All right, let's get some beds in place here. Okay, we only have the four beds right now, but it'll have to do. Still, they haven't gone around digging that out yet. It's all right, though. We got one guy who's currently working on digging this out. So we'll get that set up. Uh, do we have the... F I think we have the floodgates now. Cancels milk creature. No creature to be milked. Okay. Let's get some levers made. <coughs> Excuse me. Now this one's for outdoor bridges. So I'll have this one be for solely the water system. I probably don't need that many levers, but for now I'm just going to set that up as such. Now we definitely need a lot more mechanisms to be constructed so we can get the floodgates in place. It's probably going to be uh, probably going to be until the next episode. Why is number one leading here? Oh, for some reason the hotkeys got screwed up. Oh, F1 was set to an item for some reason. Okay, hockey, F4. Zoom here. Okay. We have no need for anything else right now. Alright, so we're slowly getting this bit uh, put in place here. I'll have them make the bridge quickly. Raises that way. Make it out of... We have no more rock salt to be used for that. Schist. Alright. raise that way. I need this one made out of... How many do I need? Actually, I need three. It's not too much, but I'll make it out of schist as well. Always with the armor stands. Jeez. And have it raised that way. Alright. Schist. So that is basically the setup for this guy. I will have the inner bridge closed every single time, and this bridge, unless I need to go out, uh, unless there's a trader. I will have this extend to here, this wall, so that anything that goes within this corridor will be mercilessly crushed. I will uh, only open the... Uh, when the traders come in here, I'm basically going to close the outer bridge that lets them enter in. I'm going to open the inner bridge, and I'm going to send my dwarves in there to start trading with them. That's the general plan for that. It allows more safety in case of a siege, so that there's no uh, ease of access for the enemy to get into my fortress. Uh, that is why I am going to have to wall off at least part of this uh, water here, just because winter is a risk that they will just be sieging until winter. 
They may not siege me at winter, but if they siege me for that long and they have access to my fortress, it's going to cause me a lot of hell. So one of my goals is going to have to be to uh, to wall off a good portion of that. Unfortunately, it's going to take me quite a bit and a lot of masons to get that done. Uh, good, springtime has come, so we'll have a uh, have to get some of that done soon. Butcher shop. We have a lot of pullets right now, I believe. God, yeah, we have way too many pullets. All right, so let's have them kitchen, boil some eggs. Grind some meat. Prepare some easy meals. There we go. They still haven't got this done for some reason. I don't know why. Probably because there's not enough farmers right now. <laughs> we really do need to get more farmers as well. So we need more farmers, more masons, and diggers if we can get it. I'm not sure, but if we can manage that, that'd be nice. Also, a more... Uh, what's the term I'm looking for? A more focused... Uh, Mechanic would help as well. Is this peat? Yeah, I don't really care for the peat as much. Alright. I do need to get a bunch of doors made as well. So let me go down to the crafting area here. So I'll get about six doors built. Alright, once I've done that, I'll have them continue working on the... Uh, Rest of the stuff there. Oh, yeah, I definitely have to wall this bit in too. All right. I'm um, before I get that going. I'm about to have have you guys extend the stockpile here. I'm gonna have to have you guys pretty heavily expand the stockpile. There we go. That will allow me to get a lot more stuff done. So I'll get them to work on that. They will expand it. It will give me some more rock with which to use. And uh, then I will get them to finish off the... Uh, finish off digging the farm area. The exterior farm area. Don't you hit no golems now or no elementals. Speaking of which, how is that going along right now? Uh, we have enough of that right now. Let's make some more, make some, as many steel bars as possible. And then make some additional pig iron bars. <laughs> if it's not possible. Alright, good. We're walking on sunshine now. So they should get that done. They might smelt the hematite beforehand. We'll see what happens. Make cheese then, my friend. Make many bits of cheese. Oh good, that was an issue there. So he's going to make a lot of cheese until he runs out of milk now at this point. Dom.com created a masterpiece. Cancels make cheese, needs unrotten food milk item. That's all he has then. So he, all, the, all the goats are currently milked out, as it were. I'm about to wait for that to uh, get back uh, regenerated, as it were. All right, that bridge has been built. The walls here are slowly being built. Oh, did they not build the wall there? Why did they not build the wall there? <coughs> That's mainly where I need them to build that wall. Also, I'll have them build one right here. We might have to go around, but hopefully they'll get it done. Wait, who are you? Oh, that's my militia commander. Oh, wait, what? How'd he starve to death? Oh, well, let's get that thing butchered quickly. Alright, let me make sure that all booze belly goats are currently pastured in here properly. Mastiffs, war dogs, turkey hens. There we go. But as much as can I as I can do for that has been tossed there. Right, I'll create a larger area later for the uh, turkeys and get them some more nest boxes as well. Is another thing I need to do. 
Because we're about to have a lot of eggs, more than we'll know what to deal with for a while there. And I'll have to start, uh, once I get about 20, 20 hens, I'm going to have to butcher all the males. Because I don't need any more eggs. Uh, or I don't need any more eggs hatching, I should say. Gave birth to a new goat kid, lovely. Lovely for them. Alright, they've dug away about half of what I need them to here. But I've definitely got to massively expand the gem stockpile. And I need somebody to get on to work here for the craft. So who is it that is my crafters? I have two of them. One is this guy right here. Currently, oh, it's Corroded Soul. He's also my architect though, which is probably what's keeping him occupied right now. Alright, let me take a look and see where he is at. Corroded Soul, my friend. What are you doing? With which you are not. No, he is making rock crafts. He is. So he's doing his job. Carpenter is finished. <coughs> I'll have him make a bunch of wooden bins. Let's get some beds made here. Have them dump all this stuff out of here. Let me turn these into bed. Well, I'll wait till they have all those places, and I'll turn them into bedrooms in mass. I may as well have them dig this out then. I'll have them channel this corner here. So I can get a well there properly. Did they finally channel it out in the center there? They did. Alright, build. Where's well at? Capital L. Needs chain. Alright, so I need to either trade or create some chains. Probably some metal chains. Struck some amethyst. Now oh, they're digging that out. Okay, good. You've struck cave fungus. Interesting. He struck a cave fungus wall, which might mean that a lot of my stuff is about to start turning into cave fungus. Hopefully not. All right, let's create a larger stockpile here. Settings. Bid everything except for seeds. There we go. So we have a much larger stockpile for the farming area. They have started to plant that, yep, and just like I thought, since so we hit a wall of cave fungus, looks like either, no, that's just grass starting to spread down here. Never mind. Alright, so we're good for that. They almost had this main wall built. Good, good, good. Someone needs to start moving, well, that's because they haven't set it up properly yet. Derpa, derpa, derpa. Alright. We're slowly getting this done. Come on, me boyos, hurry up. You can do it, I believe in you. Well, not really, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so they're getting that done. I'm going to put the gem stockpile beside the other one there. Let's put a... quantum stockpile over there so they can start dumping the stuff they need to dump. Alright. You've struck Wolframite. All those other lovely materials. There we go. So we ran out of chairs and tables. And we still haven't got a uh, mechanic down there to set that stuff up. Hmm. Tis most unfortunate it is. Build. Wall. Alright, we'll get that wall placed. That should complete that. So the exterior defense will be created, will be finished when that is done for the moment at least. I'd like to extend the walls past this uh, bridge and then we'll see what happens there. Of course, this is one big wide open area we haven't exploited yet. There we go. Still. Isn't producing anything right now. I should just check my stocks. We still have a lot of drink, a lot of food, so we're good right now. 
Even though I really do need a lot of more farmers. Alright. What else do we have for seeds quickly here? Let me double check. I know I brought a ton of them. Yeah, we still have a ton of plump helmet spawn. Uh, pigtails, cave wheat, and sweet pot. Alright, so cave wheat. Sweet pods. And then when this one's built, I'll make it uh, pigtails. That'll keep my farmers busy for a good long time. Alright, let's check the status of this. They have completed it. Good. Have this junk dumped out of here. So I can get the stockpile in place. This is the gem stockpile. Where the hell is gem? It's E. Okay. It's going to be one large gem stockpile. So they'll be able to get all that stuff placed in there now properly. Alrighty then. Good. We have a lot of armor stands, we have a couple mechanisms, although none of which are actually being used right now, that's probably why we have a lot of that mechanisms. Alright. Get this door in place. Go down to my service entrance. Get that door in place. Excuse me. Have them dig this bit out here too. Because <coughs> we want to get as many GMs as possible with which we can encrust into our crafts. Alright, so we are going to start taking all, picking all those up. Good. Good stuff. I really do need to get them some bins made ASAP, though. Alright, so all these are ready now to be used. I just need to actually get them used, pretty much. Okay, now this one must already lead somewhere, but I have not actually placed anything on that. So we pull that lever quickly. This one's finally actually using that, so let me have him pull that lever. Pretty sure that'll close that. Yep, that's what the door closes. Notes, place. Alright, start noting these guys up. Name. Actually, you know what? Uh, let me not do that one. Let me do text. Place a new one right here. That's terrible. Bridge levers. Okay, so now I know this area is dedicated to bridge levers. Okay. Build. Trap, capital T, L for lever. And we'll get some more levers put in here. <coughs> Actually, let's see. I only, need, I only need three more right now. Let me get rid of that. So I can now continue with what they were doing. Alright. Who's fighting one now? The buzzard is fighting. Bites the ironclad war dog. Damn buzzard. Let's see. Oh wow. Shakes the buzzard around by the lower left leg, tearing apart left lower leg's muscle, denting the bone, tearing an artery, nerves have been severed, ligaments been uh, torn, tendons been torn. That thing's just getting torn apart. Nice, good. Will we have a buzzard tonight, boys? Alright. That's been generally completed. Now, next time when I uh, hop on here, I should know, I'm going to save that one actually. Uh, get that bit going. Is that buzzard still fighting? Oh, let's see here. Spinning copper laced with water. Strikes the buzzard in the torso, bruising the muscles. Propelled away by the force of the blow. He shoots a straight bullet turret, shoots a copper bullet. 
Spinning copper laced with water, strikes the buzzard and torso, bruising the gut. Bullet turret breaks the uh, grip of it on its head. Let's have... Let's have him kill that thing. There we go. Let's see that combat report as he insta-killed it. Yeah, he was currently just laying on the ground, stunned, giving into the pain. And I sent the militia commander over. He basically sprang away simultaneously, slashes the buzzard in the head with his copper... Wait, copper battle axe? Or copper battle pick? Apparently he's also a miner, and the severed parts sail off in an arc. So with his copper battle pick, he just heaved the thing's head right off. Thief has stolen a copper saw blade. You little bastard. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you, boy! Oh well. Anyway, that's generally good right now. We got a lot of things done today. Uh, we got some of the levers in place ready to go for this. Alright. We start naming these. Capital N. Place. Note text. Damn it. Okay, place a note. No text. This is going to be the Inner Trader Bridge. Place another note. No text. There we go. And the Outer Trader Bridge. All right, <laughs> excuse me. Link it to a bridge. There we go, that one's the Outer Trader Bridge. We need more mechanisms before we'll be able to do more than that. That's my mechanic at. There we go. I really don't care what he makes it out of, but I just need those mechanisms made. All right, now since they're generally done, I believe, let's have the miners finish digging this bit out here. Then I'll really be golden. For today. Okay, designate. Need you to channel some more. My friend. Alright, you've done well. Keep it up, my friend. Now, if I channel this too far, it's going to end up ruining the uh, whole seclusion of this area. So I need to go two more. Dropped it by... another buzzard? What's those damn buzzards? Common Kestrel? That I need to watch out for, because those little buggers like to steal my shit. Okay, whatever it was, they must have killed it pretty quickly. Good job, he's slaughtering that buzzard immediately. I like that. Alright. Kitchen's keeping up the job, good. Everything's working out pretty well right now. So once more of the mechanisms are created, I'll be able to hook up the rest of these bridges. Let's get the trade depot moved in there right now, though. Either way, it's always a bit mismatched for this, which is unfortunate, but necessary for now. Okay, basalt. And then one more after that, and we're done. There's that buzzard. Keep straying close to my place here, I'm gonna have my guy kill him. That's good, that's all I needed. Alright, go back to work, my friend. My buzzard's gone. Alright. Okay, militia commander. Having issues. Needs rough uh, rose quartzes. Alright, build workshop. Let's get a jeweler's workshop down here. 
where it belongs. I'm tempted to make it out of slag bars just because slag generally seems to be very incredibly useless. But I'll leave that there for now. Alright, so that seems to be good for the moment. Do, do, do. Finally, dear lord. That didn't sound lecherous, did it? Yes, it did. It sounded very lecherous. For shame, noble dwarf. Yay, I finally got a huge, huge migration wave of dwarves. Oh, lovely, lovely new dwarves. Oh, well, we got a level 12 brewer, and, uh, well, he's a butcher. He's not a farmer, but he is a master cook and a master brewer. So I'm going to, as well as a butcher, I'll leave that enabled. I'm going to name this one after you instead there, good sir, who wished for the uh, farmer brewer, Canuck. Just because uh, it's not necessarily farming, but I can enable it if you so wish. But this is also a really, really good dwarf for you. So let me give that to you. Kanoke 101. Alright, let's see what else I can find here for you. Uh, let me check the military skills, see if anyone here has biting. They do not, unfortunately. However, we do have someone here who has excellent, excellent melee skills. I believe she's a dwarf of the Legion. No, he's just a talented fighter. Alright. If thou so wisheth, I can uh, name this one after you next time. Feel free to uh, add the comment to that. And no one else, I believe, wants to be named, so I'll leave that as it is for now. Do we have new? We have some new miners as well, which is nice, I think. Yes. Oh, wow. Well, some of them are even really good miners, too. Uh, let me disable all the hunters here quickly. We have some really good animal trainers, animal savants. So we have two animal savants, which is actually not that useful, unfortunately. We really don't want to have that many animal savants. I only want him doing armor smithing because he's really good at it. And everyone else that's not currently doing something is going to have uh, this globally enabled. taking care of the animals the miners do not have that enabled so we have four new miners dear lord what am I gonna do with all these miners oh uh, turns out this one right here is a child still so I won't be able to take advantage of the weapon smithing quite yet we do have a really good mechanic as well and I really only want him doing mechanics so let me toggle that let me actually stretch this guy here a bit more there we go so I can make sure to toggle all of the miners as well. So we'll have a lot of people that will be able to haul stuff now, which is what we need right now. Uh, a lot of miners, so now we can start expanding a lot of things really easily. As well as several other aspects is going to be nice to us. So nice! We got, uh, we got lucky there with this migration wave. Not amazingly lucky, but lucky enough. Lucky enough. the hell is that? What is it doing there still? It's a copper saw blade. Well, it's gonna be down into the, uh, it's gonna be down the farms now in a second. So that is the extension of the farms. Have that tree removed and I'll have it completely dug out. Alright, so we have a lot of guys in here now. It's gonna be able to do a lot of masonry work. So we're going to, obviously we have a lot of idlers right now. Um, that's about it. That's about as much time as I have for that now, uh, for today, unfortunately. So, on the next episode, I'm going to have to spend quite a bit of time, more than likely the first 20, 20 odd minutes, actually organizing these dwarves to fully take advantage of their characteristics and what they can do, uh, what jobs I need to be done. I need to, uh, get a lot of work, uh, given out to them. So... I'm going to have to definitely get a lot of interesting things done there. I'll probably extend the walls here. I'll actually even do that right now so I don't forget that. I'll extend that to here. Make it a schist. I'm going to have to have them uh, dig up a whole layer. So I'll probably designate them to do that right now because all the miners I have now. Let's see here. Clay walls. Sandstone is a useless material, so I cannot actually use that to construct things with. 
I'll have them build an entire new section to this. I'll have to get a couple carpenters ready to go, uh, cutting wood or uh, otherwise making beds. So we're going to massively expand the bedroom next time. We're going to get the walls, uh, new walls, whole new swaths of walls built. Uh, we'll have the diggers get, uh, well, let's see, this is schist. So we'll have the diggers get back down here and dig up whole new sections of this again. And other than that, we will see what else we can come up with. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed. Again, for those that want dwarves named after them that they've seen on this uh, lovely new list of dwarves we have here. I'll just give you another quick peek at all these guys here. We have a couple new miners. We have a really good, uh, what is it? Uh, he's just a regular dwarf, but he has really good carpentry and wood cutting. Uh, we have a really good masonry and stone detailer. So this guy's going to be my main stone detailer. He also has level 12 crafting for stone crafting, which is really good. Although, I am probably going to leave it up to this guy still, Corroded, just because he's not that far off from that. And I really don't want him to do other things. I'll disable this for now, because we don't need him doing that. Uh, we have a really good, uh, what's it called, mechanics. We have a really nice art weaponsmith, who's also a child, who's currently useless. Let's see how old she is. Uh, let's see here, show details three years old. They're always three years old. Why are they not like 11 years old? Then I only have to wait a year for them to actually grow up and be able to take advantage of them, but no, I have to be 12 years or three years old. Damn it. A lot of these guys are useless. A lot of these guys are pretty good like brewing and such. I'm about to get a lot of guys uh, tossed in as farmers and so on and so forth, so we'll see what we can get done for that. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, have yourselves a good one. And uh, definitely let me know if you guys would prefer having two... Uh, two one-hour episodes of uh, Masterwork Dwarf Fortress, uh, one Sunday, one Wednesday, or if you would like me to have both the Orc and uh, Masterwork Fortress on Wednesday, because I don't really like to stack videos, or if you just want me to quit that series for now and uh, get back to it another time, uh, when it seems in, when they've added some more interesting stuff for that, because. A lot of the things that you can do for the orcs now, you can also do for the dwarves. You can actually create an expedition outfitter uh, for your dwarves and send them off to either like raid or otherwise gather th things. So that's basically the only thing that made the orcs uh, interesting to me uh, was the fact that they had the ability to go out and raid other people. Now that's also been given to the dwarves as well. So that kind of you know lessens my uh, interest in continuing the orc fortress a bit. Uh, although it is in an evil biome, so that's more of a challenge in that sense, but still. I'll let you guys, the viewers, decide. Let me know what you guys think, and uh, yeah, have yourselves a good one. See you guys next week. Thank you for watching.